Okay. All right. I'm I'm back, guys. I'm not going to let this stop me. <laughs> Josie, thank you for coming back, guys. Thank you guys for coming. I was just, you know, I actually was just about to wrap it up. Hi Dr. Finch, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Hi Tosh, let me see. T Sharon, how are you? Thank you for joining. J Trivellino, thank you for joining. Thank you guys for coming back. As a matter of fact, I was um Hi, Daniel69. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Barefoot, thank you for joining. Looks like I have different people coming uh, this time. So we're talking about the art of focus. And so let me... Uh, yeah, we're talking about the art of focus. And so, guys, I was just um, just wrapping it up, but I want to recap, okay? So let me just go ahead. Uh, hi, couponing. How are you? Thank you for joining, uh, for coming back. I know you were here earlier, and I was just about to wrap up uh, the cast. So we're talking about developing in the art of focus, right? And so I shared these five tips because uh, I was about to just, hi there, Al Alper. Al Perez, how are you? I, I hope I'm pronouncing that okay. Um, and so it, since there are some new people joining me, uh, Keith, Tony, uh, since there are some new people joining me, uh, let me just reintroduce myself. Um, my name is Aldrima Harper. I'm a productivity coach and a professional organizer. And I, hi, Ch Sonar. Hi, Katie. Thank you guys for joining. Um, Oh yeah, hi there, get set belief, get self belief. Thank you for joining. We were kind of communicating on yesterday. On um, hi, hi there. Thank you for joining. Um, let me reintroduce myself. Yes, hi Harley, Harley Preacher. How are you? Um, <clears throat> well, definitely. Yes, catch the replay. Yeah. Um, and so let me. I'm just going to recap for now, but I want you guys to really catch the replay. And so uh, we we talked about five tips in order to help you develop in the area of uh, the, the art of focus. Um, and so, again, my name is Aldrima Harper, and I help entrepreneurs get organized. I help entrepreneurs develop systems for their business. And uh, I help entrepreneurs to, you know, get focus, um, kind of kill the pr procrastination. Yeah. So anyway, so... That's what I do, and I work strictly with entrepreneurs, okay, uh, with their clutter and uh, time management, setting goals, all those, all those type of things. So that's what I do. But I'm going to just recap quickly because uh, I really want you guys to go ahead and catch the replay on this. Uh, but five tips for developing in the art of focus, okay? Number one, you want to identify the focus killers, you oh, thank you. you are so welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, Friar. Friar Reese, how are you? Uh, developing in the art of focus. Number one, you want to identify those focus killers, whatever they are, whatever it is that's keeping you from being focused. And my hair is just a mess here. Hi there, Miami. My Miami agent. Right. Okay. <laughs> Um, there's a few d different people on, on this, the part two. Uh, so um, we're talking about the art of focus, right? And developing in that area. So number one, you want to identify those uh, focus killers, right? Identify the focus killers. If it's social media, then kill it. Okay. Keep the distractions at a minimum. Okay. Whatever it is, you need to identify what it is and then do something about it. Right. Number two, you want to find your rhythm right? You may be a morning person. You may be a night person. You need to find your rhythm and maximize that time, right? Thank you for the hearts. Thank you so much for the hearts. I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, that means it's resonating with you. I really appreciate it. So you want to find what your rhythm is, and then you want to maximize that. Number three, you want to create a productivity ritual, right? A productivity ritual. For me, I get my day started with prayer, meditation, and a little bit of peace and quiet, right? And that really helps me get in the zone. I also create my to-do list the night before because my brain has time to work on the things that I want to get done, right? And I didn't even share that and share some of these things in the first one, but um, this is part two, and so I'm kind of recapping. Uh, so you want to create a productivity ritual. Find something that gets you in the zone. Change locations if you need to do that, right? So... 
So yeah, uh, thank you for the hearts. I, I hope this is resonating with you guys. Okay, so once you identify those focus killers, once you discover your rhythm, whether you're a morning person, night person, whatever it is, uh, then you create your productivity ritual. Then you can, hi Katie, thank you for, I think you I think you're coming back. Then you want to be, you can be absolutely fully present. There's nothing more uh, time consuming than trying to multitask because you're, you're not fully present on anything if you're trying to multitask. It really does not work because you go from one thing to the other and then that you lose time jumping from one task to the other because it takes time to refocus your your um your your brain it takes time to refocus and so uh be fully present in each task or each project that you're doing i mean the only the example that i can think of what if i was coaching someone and i wasn't fully present and they had to keep telling me you know what it is they're struggling with or what their challenges are you know that type of thing you wouldn't want a coach that was not fully present right so you must be fully present you know in every hey there Shannon how are you um yeah oh thank you for inviting your followers thank you that's i really appreciate it <clears throat> yes thank you for sharing this on twitter um yeah, so you want to be fully present. And the only way to do that is you uh, with the first, first three steps, right? You identify what's killing your productivity and your focus. You discover what your rhythm is. You find your rhythm, whether you're morning, night, or whenever it is. It might be location. You might be location-driven, right? It might be, you, for me, you know, once I kind of, you know, get in my zone, I like to be in coffee shops. I love Starbucks. I can really get, you know, focused. Thank you for the hearts. I love it. Thank you. And so, um, so yeah, you know, so identify the focus killers. Number one, discover your rhythm, find your rhythm, maximize that. Number two, create a productivity ritual. Number three, be fully present. Okay. The last tip I want to give you is to find a tool or resource to help you. And I was about to share this on uh, the other one when it kind of kicked off the, my scope froze up. But the number one tool I recommend is your cell phone. Now, you know what? That could be a distraction, but you got to, this is all about developing, you know, the skills. And so you, I don't care what guru, I don't care who you talk to, what book you read. These things have to be developed. It's just like, you know, fitness. You have got to develop those muscles, right? And so these areas for you, when it comes to developing in the art of focus, you're going to have to do it over and over and over and over. And so use your phone to help you, your cell phone. All of you have cell phones that's on this cast because you're watching me from a cell phone, right? But, um... Uh, you use your cell phone, put a timer on, right? Yes. Develop and improve it. Yes. You got it. You, it's that it's about developing. There's no trick, no, you know, magic wand or anything. Then all of a sudden you're going to be able to, you know, instantly be productive. Those things have to be developed and everybody can do all of you can do it. You know, each one of you that's on this camp, you can do this. So I'm here um, Monday through Friday at eight o'clock and I'm here to share tips with you. And so, you know, feel free to share this with your friends. Um, also, join me. I'm going to switch the camera here because I want you to go to go to my site because I have a let me just do this right quick here. I wanted to share. Make sure you connect with me. This is this is my site is aldremaharper.com. And uh, I, I did that because a lot of people may not know how to spell Aldrema Harper, but you can join me uh, there. Uh, I, I have a right here. If you can see it there, um, there are this is something that I'm offering right here. Yes, you are so welcome. Thank you so much for uh, coming. And also, I do have a, fo um, a Facebook group that's called The Productivity Challenge. Make sure you join that. Uh, but also you're really visual. Awesome. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, and, and that's important to know too. Let me just say that that's really important to know. You really need to know. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, 
uh, I need this info some days, multitasking throughout the day, attention gets pulled. I'm telling you, listen, guys, I'm telling you, Diane just joined. Thank you so much. I was just about to wrap it up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Diane. I was just about to wrap it up. We're talking about the art of focus. And uh, yeah, and so, and thank you so much for the shout out on yesterday. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I enjoy your scopes. And so um, I really appreciate it. And so I, I'll just recap. Yeah, all I'm going to do is recap because I, I did the uh, cast before and then it froze up on me. And so this is the second time around. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for that. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to simply recap. You can watch the replay or whatever, but, uh, yeah, yeah. The replay, all I did was I shared five tips. Okay. The five tips in order to develop any art of focus. Number one, identify the focus killers. Number two, discover your rhythm. Number three, create a productivity ritual. Number four, be fully present. And number five, find tools and resources to help you. And the number one tool that I actually recommended, which can sometimes be a distraction for people, is your phone. Because you can, I mean, your phone, you can set the timer on the phone. And really, if you've done all those other things, the, four, the, the first four tips, set your phone on a timer and really get in your zone, right? So those are the tips. I'm here Monday through Friday. I'm sharing at eight o'clock central time sharing. Uh, yes. Thank you. And again, thank you so much. Yes. And we all have one. Exactly. We all have a phone. So, um, so yeah. So thank you guys for joining me, you know, um, hi, half seven. I'm just about to wrap it up. And, um, yeah, watch the replay guys. And, uh, I really appreciate you guys, you know, joining me here and, um, uh, yeah. So thank you. Yes. Yes. Harley. Thank you. Blessings to you too. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Yeah. So we're going to, uh, if you guys don't have any questions or anything, you know, for me, then, uh, awesome. I'm so glad that this, this is helping. Um, when, are, when are your scopes, by the way, get self-belief? When are your scopes? <clears throat> Let me know when you, when you, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Diane. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. In thirty minutes, okay. I'll make sure that I'll be on. Uh, I'll be on yours. Okay. All right, guys. Well, listen. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, pop off. Make sure you connect with me on Facebook. The Productivity Challenge. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. UK 3 PM. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> uh, thank you guys for coming. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions, 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Gotcha. <laughs> thank you guys for coming. I'm going to pop off. You guys have an awesome day. Be productive and don't not busy. Okay. All right, guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for showing me so much love. Appreciate it. All right. Have a good one. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, check out the replay. Thank you for tell letting her know that. Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye. <clears throat> <clears throat>